Hey guys, it's me and I wanted to show you how I'm doing with my foam art. You see it very nice and shiny. And I put some lines on it with a lighter teal green. And I'm just waiting for it to dry a little more because I got to put more glitter on it and go over the white lines and the green lines. Um, I want to show you this one. It dry beautiful. I love the way it looks. And guess what? I'm not going to do it over. I am going to keep it just the way I have it. I love it. It's gorgeous. And that's about it. Right now, I'm getting ready to do an alcohol ink art. And I will show you. There we go, guys. Let me hook you up here. I'm sure you can see. And uh, my birthday's coming up, and my husband wants to buy me an easel. I was thinking of buying me instead of camera. Because <laughs> he asked me, what do I want? So, who knows? Maybe I could save the camera instead. Although my easel keeps falling down every time I use it, so I can see why he wants to get that instead. I'm trying to tighten this up so the camera don't fall off. Here we go. Let's see now. Yeah, that's a little better. You can see. Right, guys? All right. There we go. There we go. So alcohol ink time. I haven't done one in a while. I think it's time I do one. I'm going to get the blending solution. <coughs> alcohol acetone i need later not right now so i'm gonna put a little bit of the blending solution i really want it to go like this sideways like going down a line like that and hopefully it comes out the way i want it to because you know how sometimes you say you want something to come out one way and it comes out whichever way it wants to come out put some blue in there Today I'm working with this instead, with my so-called uh, air compressor, which I love a lot. Uh, I love my air compressor a lot. Just work at it, you know. See if I can off the alcohol with it. I'll put the alcohol. It's blending. These are pinata. I'm using pinata today. I use Pinata, if not, I use the various ink or Copic. Copic are also good. I like them. I mean, for me, they blend very well. So that's why I like them. Okay, so I'm getting this blending is going good here. I like the way it's blending in. That's what I want it for it to blend in and look really, you know, very nice and smooth. Way. And I used up all my gold on my deals, so I have no more gold. I did want to throw a little gold in here, but I guess I'm not. So. Alright, that blue looks good. I'll throw a little green along the side so it can look like, you know, some branches coming out on the side. Yeah, a little green there, a little green there. A little green here, a little green here. Kind of like regular flowers, you have a little green coming out on the side. blend in a little bit more, right? Eh? And then I'm gonna do some nice, uh, let's do some more blue, but the Copic blue. Ugh, if I could get it open, that'd be nice. So how are you all doing, my people? I hope you are all doing well. I'm doing very well, I can't complain. But I just wanted to see how you guys are doing, nobody. Of course, we can't talk to each other. That would be nice if we could. Maybe when I ever go live again, right? <laughs> I like the way this is turning out. The green is coming out really pretty. I like the green. It's gorgeous green. Yeah. You don't throw too much color in there. It's nice. 
and over here it looks like it didn't get any color in there. Got to blend it in, make sure the colors hit the canvas completely. You know, you don't want to have a, a bald canvas here, like little bald spots. We don't want bald spots, right guys? We want it all taken care of. Let's put a little bit more in there. Yeah, because that was a pretty little bald spot there. Uh -huh. A little bit more green here. And that's okay. Looks good. I like the way it's looking. Put a little white, a little white in between those colors. Liven it up a little bit more with the white. Mm -hmm. Make the flowers look a little white in between. Yeah, nice white in there. A little white in there. Uh -huh. I really like these colors. They're really blended very well. Blending perfect together. I use the blending and the alcohol both. That's just me. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's up to however you want to do the blending. This is the way I like to do my blending. So, to each its own, right? You gotta make it whatever you like. I don't worry about the outside there. I could always repaint that a little bit more white. So, there go, my nice flower. Get a nice flower cross, so I'm happy for that. Just what I wanted, a nice little flower. Mm -hmm. Gotta try to put it in little by little, I notice you can't put a lot. Then you get a clunk of paint, that looks awful. This pink is so pretty from, uh, this magenta from, uh, Pinata. It's a really pretty pink. Magenta, rather, I should say, because it is a magenta. It's not really a pink. And then I put more flowers on the side, like little leaves on the side of the flowers. Mm -hmm. Make it look like leaves coming out of the flower. Flower bed. Yeah, a little bit more here. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Alright, I am happy with this. I don't know if I want to do anything else to it. Just put some white in here, lighten up this area. Mm -hmm. A little bit more white in there. That dark color disappeared. We don't want the dark color showing too much. You know, so. I think that's it, guys. I think I'm very happy with what I have. Uh, we can add a little purple more to the middle so we'll have pink, magenta, purple, and blue. We could do that. Let's see, another purple here. And this is also the Copic inks. They're very good. I like them too. So between that one and the piñata, I love those two. They make my day. Yeah. Okay. So now this one and the one I have in the garage, I have to do. Uh, <laughs> I have to do a resin pour on. You know, remember the dress? I still have it in the garage, just standing over there. My husband said, "What are you gonna do with that? You're gonna wait to get painted by something else?" I said, "No." I'm going to work on it. I'm going to put a, a layer of resin on it. Let's see, One more layer of resin and that one is done. Alright guys, I think this tree, this flower does look pretty to me. I don't know if it's to you it looks pretty, but to me it looks fabulous. And I'm not putting any more ink in here because it looks already beautiful to me. This is the alcohol. I'm just going to just spread a little bit more of the color from it being just the dark color. I don't want the dark colors. Let's see, I want some white colors coming out of it. Okay. 
this is a regular canvas. I did layer three layers, well, two layers of uh, the kilt primer, and uh, it helped. I guess it, you know, it really worked. Otherwise, it would have looked like see-through, or you can see it would have blended right into the canvas. That's usually what happens if you don't do things the right way. I think that green looks so pretty. It's just like really made it look like a big flower bouquet. But it needs a little bit more green on here. On this side right here. Make it more like a bouquet. Like that. There you go. Now the tail flower. There you go, guys. I'm blending solution over here because I don't want this to stay dark. I want it to get light. guys that's it I'm done I'm happy with this I didn't have to do anything fancy to it I could do a little a little something something if I want like alcohol little dots of alcohol but uh, is it gonna come through I don't know we shall see if it goes through uh -huh. I like little dots of alcohol on it. But you gotta really press on it, you gotta make the dots, I guess. It's not happening as I thought it would. There we go. It's happening now. Uh -huh. In the middle here would be nice to Make a few little dots with alcohol, a little alcohol dots. It's good to put that alcohol dot on the dark part, <laughs> so you get rid of the dark part. <laughs> you don't have it so dark. Well, you guys have a fabulous week and enjoy your week with your family. Be good to one another. And that is that. Now, I don't know what that brown is. It's ugly. Let me just put green on it now that I messed it up. Alright guys, I'm going to give you a close up and that's it. That's my flower for today. I hope you guys like it. I can get this off. There we go. That's my flower. Look how pretty that flower is. Angie's bouquet. Yeah. Angie's bouquet of flower. Yeah, what a pretty bouquet I made today. Well, that's it, guys. A bouquet of flowers for you all. Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Bye.